Canada Center in Toronto, Ontario. It's a Sunday showcase on ESPN on EA Sports as we get set for the Bucks, looking for a win on the road against the Toronto Raptors. As this one gets underway, Jeff, who might they need to be careful with against Milwaukee tonight? I like Greg Monroe for this Milwaukee Bucks team. A great free agent signing for them because he gives them what they need, which is more offensive versatility, and he can rebound the ball in traffic. DeRozan against Middleton. The Bucks coming off a frustrating loss in their previous game against Chicago. Jeff, they struggle in a lot of areas, but what stood out the most? You know what I didn't like in the last? Off the mark. Plenty of people shocked, Jeff, when the Philadelphia 76ers traded former Rookie of the Year Michael Carter-Williams, but things are working out well for him in Milwaukee. You think about it, Mike. You know how much they had to believe in Michael Carter-Williams to trade Brandon Knight, who had played for... There's the perfect pick. Patterson fires for three with two left on the team is how do they improve defensively? Valanchunas has had his difficulties in defending pick and rolls. Like a lot of big guys, he's got to continue to grow in that area. DeRozan against Middleton. Oh, what a play! A look at the athleticism is a word that Clyde Frazier likes to use, the great Hall of Famer, pugnacious. He has that attitude on the court. That's a nice word by Clyde, and it's very descriptive of Kyle Lowry's hold of 14 points in their previous game against the Washington Wizards. Gets to the rim, knocks it down for two. two points. Wayne Casey and his team. Not able to score. And you got to finish strong on those shots. You're right at the basket. You got to put the ball in the hole. There's the whistle. Giannis Atetokounmpo picks up his first foul of the night. And DeMar DeRozan will get to the free throw line to shoot. He's shooting 83% this season. That's good, sound, solid basketball right there. You go strong to the basket. You get fouled. And now you have a great free throw shooter shooting free throws. Substitutions. Big year for the Raptors last year, Jeff. They make the playoffs. They lose a tough first-round series, but they've got some good young talent. Can they take the next step now? Well, you think about it, Mike. I don't think many people know, unless you're heavily involved in the NBA, what a great basketball city Toronto is. Do that by honing your entire game. There's the pick. Ross for two. Gets it to go. Seven-point lead for the Raptors. for two. DeRozan from downtown with two remaining on the clock. Four, three. Using something he picked up from Rick Carlisle when he played for him in Dallas, Jason Kidd likes to give his players a written test on game days. They include questions about NBA history and team plays. Throws it down. What a play. And here's another look at that amazing dunk. Well worth the replay. Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with the nice dunk. He bound the ball in traffic. This is a nice young player. Puts it down. What a play. No field goals in the second quarter. We're seeing some outstanding defensive work. Fourth score the goal and the foul. And Michael Carter Williams will get to the line to try and finish the three point play. You earned it. Take the hit, take the blow, finish the play. It's the free throw, three point play complete. Carter Williams on the drive, weaves his way to the basket, won't go. Driving the ball into the paint is the most important offensive tool in the game. He had a great look, he just missed it. It's good. That'll be a two-point good. 
Carter Williams on the drive at the rim. Gets it to go, plus the foul. And the foul is called against Alan Tunis. And Greg Monroe will go to the line. One shot to complete the three-point play. That's great body control right there. Finishes the shot and now goes to the free throw line. DeRozan against Ate Tokumbo. DeRozan for two, lets it go. It's good. DeMar DeRozan with 18 when they were ahead. Lowry against Carter Williams. Slices through the lane, back and forth. Nice looking Euro step. it up. The Bucks with control on the rebound. Shot is blocked. For the layup. Puts it in. That's a two-pointer. And it's a three-point. One minute left in the second quarter. Valanchunas is backing down in the low post. He's fouled. And Jonas Valanchunas will go to the line with under a minute to go here in the first half. He hits the first free throw. Stepping in for the Milwaukee Bucks, number 22, Chris Middleton. Entering the game for the Toronto Raptors, number 54, Patrick Patterson. Goes two for two at the line. You want to go back to the bench because you're so tired of seeing the same guys night after night, day after day, and they're sick of you too. There's the whistle. Nice job drawing the foul. Greg Monroe picks up his second of the night. That's good, sound, solid basketball right there. You go strong to the basket, you get fouled, and now you have a great free throw shooter shooting free throws. Shooting knocks down a pair. Bucks a fun team to watch, Jeff, because they're athletic and they can get up and down. Tight quarters when you're behind the three in the corner. Good job keeping his feet inbound, rising up, and making the three. Monroe, and here's the double. Jeff, one of the great stories last Puts it down! A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. And they had a 24-second violation. DeRozan against Vasquez. Ross, the jumper, and hits the three. Seven three-pointers for the Raptors. Oh, beautiful footwork right there to stay in bounds, rise up, and knock in the three ball. To the rim, unable to flip it in. Driving the ball into the paint is the most important offensive tool in the game. He had a great look. He just missed it. Perfect pick. Looking to curl in on the drive. Whistle blows. It's a foul. Toronto shooting 90% from the line tonight. Good offense is about getting your best players their best shots in their best spots. Here, an aggressive move. You're a great free throw shooter. 
earn your way to the free throw line, take the contact, take the foul, work your way there, and knock him in. Into the game for the Bucks, number 77, Johnny O'Brien. Subbing in for Toronto, number 17, Jonas Valanciunas. Able to convert on both free throws. Terrence Ross. Ate Takunbo for two. That's good. And Giannis Ate Takunbo with six. Looking for low post position. To the basket. Knocks it down. One point game. From three-point land, the Bucks with control on the rebound. It's good. The two defenders swarm. Hits for two. And it's a nine-point lead for Milwaukee. Lowry against Carter Williams. That's a three-pointer. The defense nowhere near him. Puts it in. Four-point game. Carter Williams. It's good. And the foul. Block called against Valanciunas. And Michael Carter Williams will go to the line looking to complete the three-point play. That's great body control right there. Finishes the shot and now goes to the free throw line. And he can't convert the free throw. They double him. Lowry for three. Wide open. It's good. Monroe's looking to post up down low. Vasquez from downtown with three on the 24. For two, nails it. You need guys who can make shots. 88 to 84. Backing his way down in the post. Double T. Oh, and he throws it down. A look at the athleticism. Gets it off. That's good. A two-pointer. Two points. The assist. Milwaukee's leading Toronto by a score of 92 to 86. Trying to work it down low. Attacks the basket. Nice control. Two points. And he curls in. Gets to the rim. Right there and it won't fall. Getting the ball. He puts it in. Slut shot. Hey, sometimes good. Lowry on the drive. Puts it up. Oh, he knocks it down. And this game is finished. The final score is 98 to 92. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for joining us and good night. Jalen Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Bucks edged out a close victory in today's game. What really stood out for me is how many times they scored on second effort plays. It takes heart to keep up that kind of execution. And these guys were relentless. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Milwaukee Bucks. The Raptors lost a tight one today. And you can see the disappointment. They deserve some credit for the way they shot the ball. But in the end, it still needed to be better for them to have gotten a win. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Toronto Raptors. Game stats. Player of the game.
And now, of course, the stats. Here are the top plays. Number three. Number two. Number one. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining.